Hey guys, welcome to CS 2023 and welcome to the BMW Pavilion. And I'm here today with Stella Clark. You might remember her from last year. She's the engineer in charge of the very, very cool BMW E-Ink project at BMW. And today she has a brand new car to show us. And this is the? Very first uh, color changing car in the world. Okay, so yeah. tell me how did you go from a bike color, you know, black and white, IX flow to this project? Well, uh, I think a lot of the people decided this. Okay. So we presented the IX flow, it was quite successful. And so we got to present it in different events. And the main question that came was, when's color gonna come? Black and white's not color, it's only gray but scale, is it's not it, even black. But yeah. is it black and white color or not? <laughs> yeah, I say yes. Yes, okay. But hey, let's leave that open. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so people wanted color and uh, we also noticed that people liked the aesthetics and the emotional connection with color and so that's why we went in this direction and we had a wonderful teamwork with e-ink together and this is a very very new material that we obtained and we okay. worked together with e-ink to get this on a car so it was a mixture of what we think people want and innovation gotcha so tell me more about technology so let's go into more engineering yeah. details because yeah. I think it's quite exciting we've talked yeah. about this a little bit in Munich but uh, you'll be cool to tell me maybe some of the challenges some of the obstacles that you had to overcome yeah. but also how this yeah. tech has changed from IX flow to this particular one yeah yeah there's a lot of things there so first regarding the tech itself with the IX flow you have real color change but you have two particles that move you know, kind of white and black and everything in between so that's why it was grayscale and here you have four particles that move in a similar fashion, but you have a more of a CMYK thing going on and that's how you get the various colors. So that's in a nutshell how the color works. There were a lot of challenges with this. So yeah. in comparison to the IX Flow where we had black and white material and that was kind of known, that's the, the Kindle material. What this is is, is quite new, uh, the E-Ink Prism 3 material. And it's so new, it's about now maybe 12 weeks old. So. It's new material from e-ink, yeah. and we're taking this material and doing something quite difficult with it. Uh, so that in and of itself was challenging. E-ink had to make the panels, and they had a good amount of challenges there. Make the panels, bonded on plastic so it's flexible, it's not bonded on glass, that wouldn't work for a car. So they had their own challenges, and then we got the material from our side, and we had to do this to it, kind of cut it, form it, apply it, make it switch and that wasn't easy and the entire aesthetics of this car is different to the iX flow you notice that you don't have the little springs you don't have the little triangles it's different and it's different because we had so many challenges so I guess people don't realize how difficult it probably is to take a 2d shape and yeah. put it on a 3d shape yeah. so has the material itself changed quite a bit compared to iX flow how is it different really in kind of shaping that material? Is it it's more pliable? It's very similar. It's very similar okay. actually. It's, they're both kind of like, you know, thick cardboardy material is what I used to always say. Okay. You know, I'm going to switch this in the background just so that sure. there's a little bit of eye candy there okay. uh, in, in the background. Oh, here, here we go. Um, here we go. So how many panels first on the car? 240, gotcha, mm, and yeah. up to 32 colors, colors right? Yes, yes. Is there a limitation on the number of colors or is it just by choice, basically 32? Not by, not by our choice. Uh, I think switching colors is not a simple thing. Okay. Uh, it is a little bit more complex what's going on here, that you have to make sure that you switch the colors so that you have everything uh, so-called uh, DC balance. You don't have any residue voltages. So that takes a time and optimization on the side of e-ink. So they, uh, together with them, we got the 32 colors that we use for this. And that's the limiting factor now. Although theoretically, uh, obviously more is possible. Sure. So yeah. maybe let's take a look from the side because the yeah. shape is even better there. We can see a different uh, view here. Once again, the number one question people ask, what's the energy you know, consumption? Yep, it's the same advantage as last year. Okay. Perhaps, perhaps changing a little bit more the voltage is a little bit higher than last year okay. last year we were about the you know 15 volt peak voltage mm -hmm. now we're around about the 30 volt peak voltage but still quite low sure and still in the milliamps uh, area so still very energy inefficient uh, energy efficient sure. very very low energy 
definitely compared to light. And now it's consuming a little bit of uh, energy, just as we talked about. Mm -hmm. And as soon as this uh, stops here, yeah. Uh, it consumes no energy. You could pull all electricity away from this and it would stay there for years. Sure. So what I learned from IX Flow was the fact that the actual wrap, you know, or the materials on top, it don't really have to be connected to any energy source, right, to retain that color. No, yeah. So exactly. maybe that's one thing that maybe you want to explain once again, because I'm not sure if people remember that, because that's one of the coolest things about this that's whole thing. That's one of the coolest things here. In terms of the energy, I mean, you have panels on this car. This would be like one panel here. Mm -hmm. And the connections this year, we tried to hide better than the IX Flow, because there were some really picky people out there who really zoomed in on the bad connections. So we've okay. really hidden them here. And we've had some wonderful colleagues who do modeling that really helped us out here so we, we improved on the professionalism and here you don't see it but there are three connections here and that's where you have make the contact to the top and the bottom planes where you apply the voltage and that's here so if I would you know pull out the cables that come here mm -hmm. just take a, a power supply doesn't 12 volts 30 volts whatever and just apply it there you'd see the color switch mm -hmm. And you take it away, it would stay where whatever it is, and that's kind of kind of explains by stability that you need a little bit of uh, energy voltage uh, to change a color. You take it away, it stays. So that's what's called uh, by stability, and it's as an engineer, that's a, a characteristic that blows you away because you don't know light. You take the energy away, mm -hmm. and it's it's gone. Whereas with e ink, it stays. It's mind-blowingly amazing okay. and has obvious advantages in the automotive sector that you can on any given day say I want to drive a blue car with white racing stripes you play press play mm -hmm. you, you have a little bit of energy consumption you take it off and the rest of the day without any energy consumption you have that car gotcha. that's pretty awesome, yeah, that pretty no, awesome. no other tech can do that to my so knowledge. now of course this is a brand new concept car quite cool I mean we've seen its sister car D yeah uh, and I guess they are you managed to apply this tech more than just the you know the overall wrap of the car but also on the windows and also to illustrate the headlights and the yes. tail lights yes so maybe let's take a look in the back but i guess people don't realize that those are not actual no. light they're still e ink right this is also e ink we switched them black on this on this car because we wanted to highlight the, the color here but here's also e ink but you know what let's let's come over here because you can kind of see it okay um, and you'll see it on other videos and from the Vision D. Yeah, well, here you can see it. Okay. Uh, yeah, these are all individual uh, segments here. Sure. Um, so this is a different kind of, this is obviously only black and white, mm -hmm. but it's segmented and it's um, also an innovation that gets easily overlooked because the color is so dominant here. Mm -hmm. But it's also, uh, also a wonderful project with E together. And there are huge parts, there are huge segmented parts and that was a challenge in and of itself. Um, for these parts and, and we're very thankful for the wonderful work uh, with e ink together what's one of the use cases that you would see somebody you know using this particular segment here on their car mm. that's that's a good question so <laughs> this is very artsy uh, so uh, and, and I understand it so I guess it, it's a it's a wonderful thing that if you walk past your car that your car kind of follows you I think it it makes a, an emotional connection to the car mm -hmm. so I think that's a, a, a wonderful thing and as I said, I think it's quite artsy. Well, you could get more specific there. You could really have, you know, information in here that you have certain things like locked, unlocked, Instagram advertising, handle. Instagram, mm -hmm. status, um, is the car free? Like just useful information could also be done in this, in this form. Gotcha. Yeah. So should we go to the front or to the back to see maybe the changing of the e ink on the front grille? Because I guess now the actual BMW grille has changed yeah. quite a bit and it's really all driven by e ink. And it is all driven by e ink. And actually on this car, I think we've sw switched that one black. And I'm not sure if we can, can switch the front fidgetals at the moment. The idea is yeah. really that you can actually customize this as well and it yeah, can you wink can. at you, it can be sad, yeah. it can be happy. You yeah. can block out the entire thing with a different color, right? Yes, exactly. So. And the lights too, right? I mean, the lights are all e-ink as well. And the lights as well. So here we have also uh, hundreds of segments in there. You don't see it here. It's pretty seamless. So if they're all switched black, you don't see any lines in between them. And you see it on many videos. Perhaps you can blend that in. But uh, through these segments, strategically chosen, you can show facial expressions um, here. And how else would you do it? I mean, this is the solution here was with segmented e-ink, and it mm -hmm. works wonderfully. If you were to do this with light, it would be quite complex. Um, you'd have to work with complex uh, light guides and it wouldn't be so easy. So we like the solution here and you also have the energy efficiency of 
of e-ink here. Can you use e-ink inside the car too? Are there any applications yeah, inside the car? Yeah, that's where it started. That's what, those were the first ideas. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah the first ideas were inside the car, the user interfaces, mm -hmm. because uh, we all know the issue of having a display in the car, having the sun shining on it, and you can't see anything there. So the yeah. first use cases were, you know, let's make it readable and easy for the users to see uh, what the symbols are or information. Sure. Those were the first ideas, gotcha. and we still have those ideas. Okay, so where do we go from here? Oh, Because now we see the progression, yeah. right? And I'm not trying to put yeah. you on the spot to no, reveal it's... anything, but we've seen, you know, the first attempt, the IX Flow, which is yeah. good. This is even better. Yeah. Is there a next step, or could it be a next yeah. step? Oh, no, uh, we have ideas. Okay. Um, how do I say this without spoiling too much? Sure, that's I always tricky. I would love to go higher resolution okay. with e-ink. Gotcha. This is wonderful. 240 okay. segments is not bad, Okay. but I think there's potential there. I would okay. love to do that. So expand that yeah. to be able to even go even smaller yeah. panels. You yeah. can customize yeah. that yeah. even more. More information there. It's gotcha. also one of the, the comments we get often, mm -hmm. and there are technical solutions to that that I'd love right. to explore. So what's stopping any automaker to put this into a production series? Maybe not a large yeah. volume series, but maybe yeah. a limited edition. What's stopping anyone to do this? Admittedly, not that much. Okay. So I, I think that's a wonderful. That would be a wonderful next step to perhaps go into go into a small series. Obviously, the normal challenges of something that's new. You obviously can't go now from this to series. I think like a small series would be a wonderful mm -hmm. next step. Be any homologation challenges or maybe obstacles as well? For sure. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Uh, robustness, obviously. Okay. Robustness is something. Um, control. I mean, there's a, there's a bunch of challenges involved here, mm -hmm. but I call them challenges. Okay. They're not uh, no goes, and that's. Uh, I think this project is proof of uh, you can do stuff. Gotcha. They're, they're possible. So a lot of people told me this wasn't possible oh, yeah? at the beginning. Okay. And uh, see, see, here this, you so, are. Uh, I mean, uh, honestly, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is this is fantastic. <laughs> and of course, people would always ask, so how much would something like this cost? If, yeah. if, if you were to put a price tag on this technology to be applied to a car, yeah. what would be a reasonable cost that anyone would pay for? I am not allowed to answer that question. Okay, but. Um, if you know how much people give out for custom paint jobs, sure. it's, it's, in, it's, it's realistic. Gotcha. Yeah. And I guess, um, what, final question for you, what would be your ideal use case if you were to own a car with an e-ink technology? Like, would it be maybe you sharing different colors with your you know, partner, husband, mm -hmm. or something else? I would love to have this. And if I wasn't thinking about the technical limitations, yeah. I would love to have this with an active matrix TFT behind there, flexible, and you'd have the entire car as a canvas. We can have high resolution art on there. And as useless as that is, I like it. And awesome. I think a lot of people do. Awesome. <laughs> Looks fantastic, Stella. Once Thanks again, so much, thank Rachel. you so much. I really enjoy this. And I'm going to play around with the car a little bit more because it's very eye catchy. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what's next from you, you know? So yeah. looks like we're moving towards more and more things, you know? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You'll thank be... you so much. All Guys, right. thanks for watching once again. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you with more footage from CS 2023. Bye for now.